Well, a severe thunderstorm destroyed several homes and left hundreds without power in the Brainerd Lakes area last night. Today, entire communities banded together to rebuild and assess the damage. Our Logan Gay has more. We don't have nothing left. Everything we have is gone. Tyler Saxon is one of the many Deerwood Township residents that lost everything after several severe thunderstorms went through central Minnesota Sunday night. Tornado sirens warned residents to immediately seek shelter. We were down in the basement, uh, had eight, eight inch uh, concrete walls around us. For many, the experience was quick, but they lost so much. Well, hole in the roof for sure, and a hole in the roof in the garage, um, no power. Uh, we haven't really, I mean, there's a big hole in the living room. After the storm had passed, many people came out of their place of refuge, finding 100-year-old trees on top of their homes. A few individuals had to seek medical attention after sustaining injuries from being trapped inside. Puncturing holes in the roof and we had extensive water damage to our appliances. The ceilings collapsed in the house. My wife, she got five staples in the head and then I just got some bruises and lacerations on my cuts on my legs and on my back and on my chest area and on my head and my son, he had a cut on his ear. Noke Lake and Placid Lake area were the hardest hit with property damage. And Pequot Lakes, Breezy Point, Lake Shore, and East Goal Lake all reported tennis ball sized hail. After the storm, many were only left with tears. We just came out and looked around and cried. Although the storm left quite a mess when homeowners said the damage could have been more severe if it had not been for the thousands of trees that surrounded his home. We kind of say we had guardian angels looking out for us because those trees took a majority of the, the brunt of the storm. And so then our house, you know, even though we had some damage, uh, very little in comparison to what it could have been and, and should have been really. Now that the worst is over, many of the Deerwood Township residents are thinking positive and are working together to rebuild. Last night was absolutely amazing with friends, neighbors, and complete strangers stopping in. Um, I would say we had at one point in time over 30 people here working to get the path open because uh, this was all just one big mangled mess. And the electricity company is working overtime to return power to the remaining few customers still experiencing outages. In Deerwood, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And Minnesota Power is expecting to return power to all residents by the end of the night. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.